What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So today we're going over one of the new Daviri Arcane's Primary Blight. We'll be talking about where you can get this from, what stats it has, what it does, and basically if you should worry about going for this, because this is one of the Arcane's I was most excited for when they released this in the Seven Crimes of Calervo update. Before we get into it, though, make sure you're sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Also, check out the live stream channel. I'll be live tomorrow morning with the new Twitch drops. You got, like, I think a Riven Challenge Unlocker and, like, a Bobblehead and things of that nature. So nothing too insane, no Umber Forma, but make sure you come stop by. All right, so Primary Blight. Let's go over what this thing does, what the maximum power of it is, and what the synergies of this are. Because you might have already wrote this one off the second you saw it. You're like... That's just a copy-paste of Primary Frostbite, and it actually is very similar to Primary Frostbite, but also different and probably better in some ways. So here is the Arcane right here. It's called Primary Blight. It comes from uh, Daviri, like, Arcane portals on the Steel Path. You can also get some, like, rank-up rewards, and you can also get it from, I think, like, past level 10 on the Steel Path circuit, and technically also the Vendor. So what this will do is on Toxin Stas Effect... Gives you 3.6% increased crit damage and 1.8% multi-shot for 12 seconds. And that will stack up to 40 times. Once you're fully stacked, you're getting 144% crit damage and 72% multi-shot. Now, just to compare, there is an arcane very similar to this that came out in... Uh, I think it was in Varuna's update or Citrine's update. Uh, it's called Primary Frostbite. And this one's going to be pretty much the exact same thing, but it's going to be on Cold Proc... If you look really closely here, the actual stats of this are different. Primary Frostbite at maximum rank gives you 120% crit damage and 90% multi-shot. So you are sacrificing about 20% multi-shot for around like 20% damage if you're going for one or the other. But the best thing about Primary Blight versus Primary Frostbite is that who's even mining for Cold Procs in the first place? Toxin Procs can already do some good stuff and this... Arcane procs from Saren's third ability, Toxic Lash. So it's really going to come, come down to what is your build on your setup. Because the honestly, the damage numbers are very... When you have these things fully stacked, the damage numbers are very, very similar to a maxed out Merciless. But you have to remember that, you know, if you don't have a very specific build, this is a viral build right now. Look, the Arcane is doing literally nothing. You, you would be seeing it stacking up here. But it's not. So if I was to use Saren's three... Now, as you can see, we're getting some procs of uh, primary blights, and it's very easy to stack up with Saren. So as far as an arcane on Saren herself, uh, you know, it's it's very easy to proc. It's not like you have to be playing Frost like the other one. Now we're fully stacked up. This is going to be some of the full damage. This requires zero kills to get this. Once we unleash the, uh, the beam mode, you can, of course, keep your toxin procs going. Primary blight is going to be active the entire time. Now, what we are getting from this is basically another crit damage mod and 70% multi-shot. The multi-shot actually stacks up quite nicely with the mods that are normally run on meta builds in this game. Also, really quickly, one thing about Primary Blight is that you lose all, all 40 stacks at once. But if you're using some of the things we show in this video, you'll be able to get those 40 stacks pretty much instantly. Just to show how fast you can get when you have Sarah's Toxic Lash out. Like, I just got 20 from like a half a second. So, you know, 40 Toxin procs in like 2 seconds is not hard on Saren. That's requiring zero kills. Now, what do you say, if you were to run this, let's say you want to run it on Saren, or you want to run it on, like, maybe a build that has Toxin on it somehow, what are you sacrificing? Well, you're basically sacrificing Arcane Deadhead, which gives you uh, up to 360% increased damage, and also an increased headshot multiplier, which can stack very nicely. So you're either losing on that, or you're losing on Merciless, which is the one that most people will still run, even though it got nerfed. 30% damage uh, per stack, stacks up to 12 times. You also get some reload speed. So we're sacrificing 360% damage for 70% multi-shot and 144% crit damage. So a lot of cases with how power creep we, how power crept we are, what people have been doing is with these new arc with the merciless arcanes, taking off things like serration or like yeah, basically serration and putting on merciless in that slot, and then basically replacing that slot with something else. Now, if you do have a Bane mod and you do have a Riven, you could fit on a lot more on this build. Uh, but basically, if you are running Primary Blight, you better have either Galvanized uh, galvanized Aptitude for more base damage or something like Amalgam Serration. You are missing out on base damage if you are running this Arcane. Not to mention it is very, you know, very specific in what you do. 
Now, if you're not playing Saren, how, how can you actually utilize this Arcane? I'm going to just use the Torrent here because the Torrent has base toxin. Um, I, will, I will be honest, there are not as many weapons in this game with base toxin that you want to keep on base toxin. So I'm going to show a similar build to what I showed in my Torrent video the other day. I actually used this in Endurance Run the other day. So what I did is I actually, well, you know what I, I really did in the mission? We were doing a Endurance uh, Grenier survival that had, there's a Fissure as well. So I put on Bay of the Corrupted and Bay of the Grenier. But if you are not doing anything goofy like that, you can just put on Serration Mod there. And what we have is a Toxin build meant for killing shielded enemies. But we're using the Nourish ability from Grendel on our uh, Necros. It gives us viral damage on our weapons, too. So we have a, basically a 78% viral mod jammed out of our weapon. We are procking Toxin and we're procking Viral. So even when you're not on Saren, this is something you could do. Now, another... I mean, we're going to be going over a lot of problems with this. I, I'm not giving a glowing review of this because it doesn't, doesn't deserve a glowing review. A lot of the good elements in this game are a combination of Toxin. So you're not going to be able to really get a Toxin... Uh, you know, purely toxin build on most weapons. So here we are. As you see, I can proc primary blight without uh, playing Saren as I have a toxin build. I throw on nourish. And now we can proc viral and toxin, even though our build is pretty much just a toxin build. That's where armor strip and things of that nature will be really good if you're running a toxin build like that. So to be honest, these numbers are basically the exact same numbers that you'd be getting if you had Merciless. So. Um, that is something to keep in mind. The, 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 the damage increase is really not that different. Uh, but since you are getting 70% multi-shot, Galvanized Chamber gives you 230% multi-shot when it's maxed out. So if you have Primary Blight maxed out, that's going to be about 300% multi-shot. That's going to be like 300, 302% multi-shot uh, if you have that all stacked up. So comparing this to, to Primary Frostbite, the one that's basically, you know, it looks very similar to it, but it involves cold procs. I would say that Primary Blight is much, much better. One of those reasons being that Toxin procs actually deal damage over time, and Cold procs just slow enemies down. Additionally, no one, no one is modding for Cold. I, I can see someone actually modding a Toxin build in this game just to take care of shielded enemies. A purely Cold build doesn't really happen. And there, you know, there's multiple reasons for that. One of the reasons being one of the meta elements in the game, Viral, is it's a toxin element and a cold element put together. So that's literally making it where both these arcanes don't function at all. Like if you don't have if you have no way of procking toxin, this arcane does literally nothing. So if you yeah, if you're not going a specific setup, this don't even bother with the arcane. If you are a massive Saren fan, maybe get it. That's the reason I want to get this is because of Saren. The second I realized they actually did work on Saren's three, I'm like, okay, I need to get this. Um, at, at the same time though. You're gonna if if you want to run this on Saren, I'd say keep Merciless on your builds for the most part. But when you know you're playing Saren in a mission, then go into your arsenal screen and then put on Primary Blight. This thing is pretty hard to get. It's much harder to get than Merciless. The damage numbers are basically the exact same, if not a little bit worse. Um, and it's extremely niche. So I'd say not a must-have, but a fun one to mess around with. You know, we're getting lots of crit in here. If you could jam some more base damage, if if you have like a, a plus damage Riven. Primary Blight will be great because, as I said earlier in the video, we're losing out on all that base damage increase from Merciless. So if you can try to patch that up somehow, that's why I've got Serration on here. I don't normally run Serration nowadays, but hey, Amalgam Serration makes you run faster too. So that's quite nice. Um, See, so yeah, as far as ranking this along among the new arcanes, I actually would say this is one of the better new arcanes as, you know... It, it gives you it gives you increased multi shot and crit damage. Those are things that we like in this game, um, and 144 percent increased crit multiplier or 144 per percent increased crit multiplier gets my Torrid build to like an, almost a 20x multiplier on the beam. So on the Torrid and Karnon, it's great um, because you can just do like I showed earlier. You can do like a toxin viral uh, setup with nourish. But when you start looking at the other other things in this game that can proc toxin without Saren, without uh, you know. Torrid or Verma Slice or whatever, you start getting some really limited stuff. So uh, just going over some of the other frames that can proc Toxin with their abilities, we have Grendel. Uh, now, something to keep in mind, that Molt ability from Saren does not seem to proc the Toxin for this sometimes. It seems like it does, like, you know, so it just seems like it's inconsistent. But Toxin procs from Saren's 2 do not seem to work, as that would be pretty convenient, as that's her Helmet ability. Uh, but as far as, you know, Grendel and all that, Grendel's uh, Regurgitate attack does Toxin. Uh, Grendel, I think it's Meatball does Toxin. 
Citrine's Crystal Turret does Toxin, so that could be a way to use on Citrine. And also keep in mind, Citrine gets guaranteed red crits when she suits one of her crystals, the fourth ability, so it could be pretty nice on Citrine, I guess. Uh, but also, you know, Primary Frostbite could also be good on Citrine, because she has Cold Procs, too, so... Overall, um, an interesting arcane, but it ended up not being, you know, as exciting as I was hoping for, but at the same time, like, what was I really expecting? Like, it's doing good damage. It's doing big damage numbers. What was I expecting? Like, a, a fireworks show every time I fire this thing off? It's doing what it's supposed to do, um, but it's a very niche thing that it does, so... Hope this video was uh, interesting to you guys. I do think it's a worthy arcane of having for Saren players, but for everybody else, uh, you can just stick to Merciless. And honestly, even Saren players, you can just stick to Merciless. You're going to be seeing pretty much the exact same numbers, so... I did this for a longer run the other day. It was great. It was able to kill, like, level multiple thousand, or not level, multiple hundred easily uh, on, like, Korra with a Toxin build. Yeah, I was doing a just a purely Toxin build. You could melt through Steel Path with just a purely Toxin build anyway. Um, so, yeah, in that way, this Arcane is pretty nice. So, I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate all the support. And then, yeah, see you tomorrow on stream. Also, videos tomorrow, too. Appreciate all the support, guys. Later.